It's back when drugs were drugs. <laughs> this is not about drugs, this is about innocence. <laughs> he, he meets a girl at a party and she's just circulating like, you know, people do, and the only thing is about her that he doesn't realize she's pregnant. And, or what to do about it if he should ever, but he doesn't know this at this point. All right, is it, it is a truth universally, universally acknowledged that a, mar that a marriage should take place as close as possible to the day the lovers meet while they are still violently in love. <laughs> Such days always evoke simpler time in their association, such as summer barbecues in the courtyard of an apartment building on Orleans Street, wine by the box. All the men wear plaid Bermuda shorts. Beer by the box. All the women wear plaid Bermuda shorts. <laughs> I see Susan and I ask her to dance, forgetting to introduce myself and not noticing that nobody else is dancing. We find an empty room in one of the apartments and can barely hear soft music coming from a radio. Is this a movie, she asks. A silent movie? I say, that's the first question you've asked me since we met. We met, she says. Where? When? I don't think we met. I don't even know your name, and you don't know mine. You're lovely, I say. I think I'm falling in love with you, but you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> we stand motionless, leaning into each other, not even moving our feet. May I say something, she asks. First, you're hugging me so hard one of my ribs is about to snap. And also, when do we get to meet? I don't meet, need to meet you, I say. I know. We turn slightly. She draws back her head. Trite, she repeats, mocking me. I don't need to meet you, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, how about when you said, is this a movie, a silent movie? Oh God, I'm so mortified, she says. How about, what are you doing in my arms? I heard it somewhere, some movie. Babes in arms, a farewell to arms? We hear laughter in the courtyard below, and we hear someone say, What happened to Susie McWilliams? Susan breaks our clinch, walks over to the window, and sticks her head out. Will somebody please help me? <laughs> She's whispering. An hour later, I am standing front, in front of her bathroom mirror with a borrowed toothbrush in my hand. The toothpaste tube reads sodium methylcellulose. It tastes... <laughs> It tastes of pine trees and a vast, excited ocean smashing its salty waves against the shore. I will never forget that toothpaste. <laughs> the next morning, I am brushing my teeth again, savoring the windswept ocean flavor. I see Susan in the mirror as she comes into the bathroom wearing a cozy terry cloth bathrobe. She's carrying some sort of stick. She hugs me from behind, standing on her tiptoes. She bites my ear, she nuzzles against my shoulder, and asks me what I'm doing with her vaginal cream. And she, says, <laughs> she, looks, she looks amused, slightly superior, with a touch of wistfulness. She, she kisses my neck. You know something? You're my first. I turn to face her incredulously. Not that I care, but are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this five minutes? Fifteen seconds. All right, well, it's about the, the part about the horse. <laughs>